This is Twit. Here in the SpectraCal booth, I'm talking with Derek Smith, CTO and co-founder of the company. And uh, the, the news here is a lot of displays have taken your, a lot of manufacturers have taken your advice with their displays. Tell us about that. Yeah, Scott. What we, uh, last year at NEB, we were talking to the display manufacturers, recommending that they started including 3D LUTs directly in their displays. Most of them took us at face value, and so we've got a lot of manufacturers here. We've got uh, Dolby, Flanders, TV Logic, Azo, the new Dreamcolor 2, the new Panasonic 4K, um, and the list just goes on and on and on. So the need to have external LUT boxes are kind of going away, and so for people that need even better controller calibration, they can just load their 3D LUTs directly into the display. Um, we have them all in our booth, and Calman controls all of them directly. Now, for those of, those of uh, our viewers who don't understand the term LUT, give us a two-second uh, definition there. So basically, LUT is, uh, stands for lookup table, and it allows us to do corrections. So we send an RGB signal in, we can modify what happens inside the RGB signal in a 3D kind of space, and then we can send that out. And so it gives us more finer control or calibration over the non-linear areas of what the display would have. So the manufacturers took your advice, because if they have these LUTs in their displays, you don't need an external box. Saves them money, saves the user money, and uh, now you can calibrate these TVs with ever greater uh, accuracy. Yes, we're getting a much, much higher calibration. Um, normally, our calibration standards are you know, in delta E's, and we usually say delta E of 3 or 1. On some of these displays with 3D LUTs, we're getting a delta E of 0 0.2, <laughs> with an average of 0 0.2 and the, and the worst case of a 0.4. Wow. So, I mean, they're absolutely just perfectly dialed in.